Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, look, even if we sent down to them an angel, recall this was one of their phony demands, one of their excuses. Oh, we don't want a prophet. We want you to send us an angel. Allah says, even if we sent them an angel, or even if we allowed the dead to speak to them, or if we gathered everything for them, they wouldn't believe except if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed. No, rather, most of them are ignorant. In this way, okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is about to account for the existence of something. He says, we have placed for every prophet enemies, enemies among the shayateen, al-insi wal-jinn, mean human devils and devils from among the jinn. They help each other and they speak to each other and they delude each other. Zuhraf al-Qawli Ghurura, with beautified, literally golden words, golden deluded words. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had wanted, he wouldn't have allowed it to happen. Yet, Al-Hakim, the all wise, Allah Azza decided that this would happen, that this type of confusion would happen, this type of argumentation. You've got some people doing the devil's work, right? Hizb shaitan people or Weswas the suggestions that you find within your own soul. And the reason that he has allowed it to happen is to demonstrate what's on your insides. Because if you have on your inside sincerity, if you have on your inside faith, the virtue, then yes, you will make mistakes, but more times than not, you're going to follow the guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends. And you're going to resist the whispers. You're going to resist the bad influences, you're going to resist the delusions or the justifications or the rationalizations that the demons give you. But for people who have the sickness in their heart already, this is what they've been waiting for. They want to hear the West West. They want to hear the suggestions. They want to hear the delusions. They want to be provided the rationalization. So then once it comes along, they can latch onto it and say, ah, yes, see, I knew what I was doing was okay. I knew that I could live my life without faith. I knew that I could live my life without thinking about being accountable to anyone or to anything. This is how misguidance works. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had willed it, he wouldn't have let it happen. Yet, he allowed it to happen to demonstrate what he already knew. Because when it comes to your heart and my heart and everybody's heart and what they would decide, how they would react, Allah already knows. He didn't have to do it for his own benefit so that he knew something he wasn't already aware of. But he makes the hidden manifest to prove it to everybody else. So that we we get on the day of judgment and we stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he gives us our final judgment. He shows us our deeds. He makes us confess. You did this. We have to say yes. We don't have an argument. We can't say, well, uh, but if you had only given me this different situation. No, no, no. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the situation, gave us every opportunity, and we're going to get what we deserve.